Hey guys, welcome to episode number six of the Hylian Herald. In this web series, I cover everything Zelda. Rumors, predictions, discussions, leading right up to Breath of the Wild Part 2. In recent episodes, I've covered everything from, is the Zelda mobile game still happening? What are some unused assets from Breath of the Wild 1? And what games, Zelda games, can we expect this year in 2020? But in this episode, I'm going to be giving you guys my predictions for what I think could really happen in Breath of the Wild Part 2. So I'm going to give you guys about five or six predictions for Breath of the Wild Part 2. Two. Before I begin, I just really quickly want to let you know that I am doing a giveaway for Animal Crossing New Horizon. You can find all the details and information about that right here, but I am giving away two copies, so definitely join that contest. Guys, there's not much more to say than grab your favorite snack. Yum, 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 yum. Don't forget to sub, enjoy the video, and here we go! One of the biggest omissions from Breath of the Wild Part 1 was the lack of the Triforce. I know it was in the game if you really look for it. I know it was on Zelda's hands at one point when she's fighting Ganon. I know you could find it in Hyrule Castle, but it really wasn't a focal point of the game. And I personally love learning more about the lore of the Zelda and Hyrule universe. So I say bring the Triforce back in a big way. Triforce is power, wisdom, and courage that makes the Triforce, baby. I'm not sure how you could really incorporate it. Maybe somehow it gets destroyed and you have to find the different pieces in the different temples or shrines or dungeons across Hyrule. There's just so much opportunity to add the Triforce into the game or maybe you really need the Triforce to use your special powers uh, there's just so many options but bring back the Triforce please when it comes to the shrines and the divine beasts in Breath of the Wild Part 1, you know, there's a lot of people that didn't really like them. They thought there were too many shrines, that they were too similar. The divine beasts were basically the exact same. And I have to agree with them and not agree with them. I did love, love shrine hunting. I mean, there was 120 shrines in this game before the DLC. So there's always a shrine right around the corner, something to do, somewhere to go. So I love that. I do wish there was more variety in how they actually looked. I mean, they don't all need to look exactly the same, right? I mean, there could have been like even four different varieties, a fire one, a sand one, a water one, just like so they look different. So when you go into the shrine, they weren't all the same. You know, sometimes the shrine was just like you go in or the, or the obstacle was finding the shrine and you just go in and receive your reward. I think that was cool too, because there's so many, so variety is great. And when it comes to the divine beasts, uh, I like dungeons, you know, I like each dungeon have its own theme, its own obstacles, its own items, its own bad guys. In the sequel, please, please, please give us true, true dungeons. It doesn't need to be eight, it could be six, could be even four. If you're going to have another hundred shrines, you give us four really solid dungeons that maybe take an hour to complete, I'm okay with that. So I am predicting we're getting shrines back, but they're going to be more... You know, there's going to be more variety of them, and we're going to get pure, hardcore, retro-themed, or whatever-themed dungeons, baby. Give me real dungeons, please! In Breath of the Wild Part 1, there were a lot, a lot of items. There was weapons, there was swords, shields, there was boomerangs, there was bows and arrows. But the one item that I was missing, and I'm sure almost every other Zelda fan, fan of 3D Zelda fans, can agree with, I could talk about a lot of items here and predict a lot of different things, but the one item that we all want is ba -ba 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 -ba, the hookshot, baby. The hookshot was just so much fun in Ocarina of Time, and then it has continued to be so much fun in every 3D Zelda since, and 2D Zeldas actually. Uh, the hookshot's in a lot of 2D Zeldas. Just imagine going through uh, Hyrule and you see a spot, you can just hookshot over, you kind of like Spider Man a little bit. I think they didn't include it because they thought it would make traverse and traveling around a little too easy, and they really want to emphasize climbing. But now that they got a lot of that out of the way in the first game, I think the hookshot 
you know, is just a, a, such an easy idea for them to include. Just imagine not only combat, but there's so many puzzles. Or how about you're just about to fall off a cliff and you use your hook shot to, you know, to grapple you up there really quickly. So I am predicting the hook shot is going to be a part of Breath of the Wild Part 2. I know there's going to be a lot of weird arm things going on in this game, but just attach a hook shot, please. Just attach a hook shot and Turbo Jesse will be a happy, happy person. As big a game Breath of the Wild Part 1 was, it was missing one thing, and that was really the interaction with water. I mean, you could swim on top of the water, or you could use a boat and one of those stupid Kurok leaves to go across to an island, but I want water to be a much bigger part of Breath of the Wild Part 2. Come on, Link, learn how to swim underwater. Underwater is just such so many opportunities for an underwater water uh, dungeon, but there could just be so many underwater caves and wildlife and just cool, cool environmental factors in you know in with using water i know i understand that in the first game maybe underwater would have been too complex and the game would have been delayed for another year or so but in the sequel come on link could hold his breath swim underwater find some caves find some new fish find some crabs little critter crabs underneath to play with or interact with or or you know cook up but i think underwater is just like an easy 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 brain dead thing for the developers to put into the game to make it feel a lot different than the last game. So one thing everybody's really been wondering since we saw the newest trailer at E3 2019 is what are we going to be doing with Zelda in this game? Is Zelda going to be playable? Is she going to be a companion? Is she going to be uh, fall in a pit? We're going to have to rescue her once again. It's really it's so hard to figure out. Some people are really against playing as Zelda. I don't know why. Other people are really for it. Uh, you know, it, it's hard to say. What I personally would like is very, very similar to how in Luigi's Mansion Part 3, Gooigi was kind of your companion and you needed him to solve uh, certain puzzles. I would love that. If at certain points in the game, all of a sudden you take control of Zelda and she could help maybe fit fuel through a crack that Zelda, that Link is too big to do, or just you need, maybe you need two people to solve the puzzle. Uh, I think it would be cool if at certain points in the game you could switch over to Zelda. I don't think I want to be Zelda for a majority of the game, but definitely to solve certain puzzles. You know, let's let's pray that princess of Hyrule if only just for a little bit. Now to wrap up the video I do need to talk about prediction of when this game is actually coming out. If a few months ago you would have asked me when I think this game's coming out I would have said definitely holiday 2020 but the fact we've gotten no information so far this year and there's been a lot of rumors this game might be delayed now I'm thinking it's coming out March 2021 a full four years after the original. You know, it pains me a lot to think it's going to be a full more than a year till I'm playing this game. But that's honestly what I think. And if it comes out sooner, I'll just be so, so happy. But guys, what do you think? What predictions do you have for Breath of the Wild Part 2? Um, are there anything that you totally agree with or don't agree with me in this video? Let me know right down here in the comment section. Guys, this has been episode number 6 of the Hylian Herald. Don't forget, I am doing a giveaway. I'm giving away two copies of Animal Crossing New Horizon. All the information you can find down below or in the link in the beginning of the video. Guys, so much thank you so much for watching this video it means so much to me i am creeping up on that 1000 subscriber mark so thank you again for that guys i am turbo jesse and i'll see you on the flip side